All right, it's two in the morning on Halloween, so I had to turn the lights red. And today is going to be pretty scary because we're going to be getting our first Plague Diamond of this series. Technically, this is our second Dark Aether series, so it's like our 12th Plague Diamond or something like that. I don't know. I've lost count. But in our last video, our top comment was from Ghost saying he wants us to get the FFAR Gold Viper, and that's what we'll be doing today. All right, so I got the FFR leveled up. If you guys haven't heard already, I've been saying it at the beginning of every video. Our leveling strat is crazy. Outbreak. Four people. Do the Black Chest event. Do Orda. Don't take on Orda or the Black Chest orbs. Just kill zombies and you will level up like crazy. But really quick, this is my camo progress on the FFAR. We are almost done with our normal kills, just about 300, 220 away. Here is our crit progress. We still need about 1,300. Pack-a-punch kills, we're not that far behind, about like 700 away. Vintage is done. Fauna is done. Topo is done. Infection, we have none for because we just unlocked it. And our attachments, I'm using the Millstop Reflex, SOCOM Eliminator, Lancer Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip, the 45-round Mag, Speed Tape, and the SAS Con combat stock. But since this is our last AR that will be getting gold, I am not taking any more suggestions for ARs because the AR class is completed. So if you want to suggest something, you can suggest anything from any other class besides the Pellington and the ZRG. The Pellington's already completed, the ZRG is banned. And also make sure you leave a map because this time Ghost did not leave a map suggestion. Hold on, let me switch this to Ring of Fire. almost forgot that. But this time Ghost did not leave a map suggestion, so I'm going to pick for myself. And I'm not actually playing Forsaken this time. I'm going to play D-Machine Let's go ahead and hop in. All right, here we go. I'm coming in on Uber Air. Ooh, our cape is messing up a bit. But I have a very, very bad track record here on D Machina. This might be the most popular zombies map in this game, but this is probably my least played zombies map. I don't know what it is about it, but I think it's because I started playing zombies around like a little bit after Firebase was released, maybe like a a month or two after. So I wanted to play on the newest map and then Firebase was also really good for grinding camos, especially for somebody that was new like I was. So I think that might've had an effect on it, but also I've had the worst luck on this map. Our series started out playing on D Machina, our very first video. And I think I made it to like round eight and died. So we've definitely come a long way since then. I think I need to get past some of those growing pains and see if we can end up unlocking Gold Viper on here one more time. But we already have a little, what is that called? Aether tool and Napalm burst. I don't know if I want napalm burst. I'm leaving it. Anyone else want to drop some sort of ammo mod? Oh, I forget there's a rampage inducer. Do we hit it? I don't know. You know what? Let's do it. I'm going in this back corner. Bring it, zombies. Oh, I need dead shot. I forget about perks. Get back. Uh-oh. I'm already scared. I, I have... This map has like a vendetta against me, so I never know what's going to happen. But I think we stay here till about round eight, and then we should go turn power on and all that. I think that's the strat. The strat is not to stay in that corner, though. At least not me. We have 60 health and are being chased. I'm throwing a decoy already. Easy crits. I wasn't worried at all. There we go. You know what? Screw round eight. I'm going to go up to penthouse for now. Oh, scare package. Anything good? Oh, armor. We'll take that. Armor's always good. Of course, we have to blow up this thing, whatever it's called. And let's head up to penthouse. We have a ring of fire. We should be fine. Knock on wood. I feel like I've seen this area in Samuel's videos more than I've seen it actually in game for myself, which is kind of crazy. Oh, it's a mimic. Mimic on D machine. It's cursed. One thing, you know, since I've I've joined the zombies community, that's always uh always confused me is how irritated people get when something is pronounced. Uh, hold on, let me pause wrong. I feel like people have different ways of pronouncing things. Some people don't know the cultural way of pronouncing something, so it could just be like ignorance. But D Machina, I'm pretty sure that's how it's canonically named. You know, whenever somebody calls it D Machine, people get mad. And then when someone calls it D Machina, people get mad. I've had people get mad at me for calling it Stamina Up or the one I get a lot because I always, I mix them up. I call Megatons, uh, Manglers and Manglers Megatons sometimes. Like the zombies community. You guys are, you guys are picky about your, about your, your nomenclature. Oh shit. We're already down. Hey, get out of here. Yeah, scram. All right, we already have to use our self revive, which is very sad. It's on round seven. But to be fair, last time we played on Forsaken, we died at like round five. So what are you going to do? Uh-oh, we're leaving. I'm not dying yet. Open. I have to get the quick revive just in case. There we go. Okay. We're safe for now. I feel like I always do so awful on this map. I don't know why. What What's so different about this than literally like Mao or Firebase or Forsaken? I don't think there really is. I think it's just my familiarity with this map. I never sat and took the time to play it a lot. I'm pretty sure my highest round, even on my main account on this map is like 35. So I'm just like, I, I don't play it too much. I'm just like, okay, let's just exfil. What's in this? Another Aether tool will take it and Brain Rot. Eh, don't really want it. Was our Corrosion Camo. Let's go. Uh-oh. We're out of ammo. Let's not go. Punch. Oh, wait. Let me just throw some fists around. They're going to hit me. I'm going to hit back. 
Oh, there's ammo right here. I ran past it. I'm also using a rampage inducer on the map I'm least familiar with. So that probably has something to do with that. You know what? They're all in a straight line. That's just easy cash. Pop open door. And there's no Dr. Peck on this map to bitch at me. So I should already just be playing this by default. But let's go right door. What what door do you guys usually do when you play on D Machina? Are you right door gang or left door gang? Let's do this. Oh, I need power. It's weird that some perk machines need power and other ones don't. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, that decoy was insane. Maybe not that insane. Holy... My Lanta. Okay. Barely got that kill. Good thing I did pick up self or quick revive. Because that would have been game right there. I think I'm going to go back and grab it. Jeez. I'm telling you. There's something between me and D-Machina. It's... It's not good but i think once we get set up we should we should be doing a little better we're gonna be hearing a whole lot of need a little revive today okay there's one zombie left i'm actually saving a zombie at round 10 to turn power on this is pathetic oh jack-o-lantern what's in it armor level two definitely need that and cryo okay an ammo mod we can use oh you know what i forgot i have so many crystals waiting i was gonna upgrade everything before we started but i was so ready to just get in here and get our first plague diamond that i just forgot so we'll have to do that after or we'll do that at the start of next video that way more people will see but anyways let's get power on there we go come on portal anomaly whatever it's called oh it's an anomaly open up oh no dude i'm tripping i'm tripping i feel like this is the reason why i don't like d machine or d machina whatever you want to call it because it has the dark aether that i'm in love with the colors here are amazing hold on look at this i'm going to turn the cam off look how beautiful this is also i hear a scare package oh a chalice let's go while you're looking how uh, how beautiful the map is look how ugly the first pack a punch camo is here on d machina also the pack a punch name is winnower but here in the dark Dark Aether? Wait, hold on. Let me get a screenshot of this. Look at him. Look at him go. But it, it's it's so disappointing that the Dark Aether isn't more prominently featured in any other map, really. And we're just teased with it in this map. But I don't know. It's just so disappointing that it's here and you see it almost never. But I have been getting comments that this spot right here where we're grabbing the part at right here in this room is really good for grinding camo. So maybe we'll try that out, especially if I'm starting to get messed up in uh, Colonel's office. Let's hop down, build the pack punch machine. Oh, see, like we got a trophy for it. Literally the first time doing this on this account. I think the only map we've really played on is uh, is Forsaken on this account. But the thing I do like about this map is that the jug Easter egg isn't ridiculously hard like Forsaken. So let's do that. Okay, it's gone. There's another one right here. Did I shoot it? Okay, I did. It just takes a second to go away. Makes me second guess. One right here. Lay down, please. Zombie, do me a favor and fuck off. One right here. And the last one is right over here. Let's go. Free jug. All right, while well, they're getting their groove on, hold on. Maybe maybe a little screenshot action just because the colors are nice here. Okay. I got, I got my, my possible screenshot. I just love how this map looks a lot. But while they're doing that, let's head all the way up here. I'm going to go to the Wonder Fizz and get all the perks I need. We'll, we'll break some of these two on our way. All right, let's grab the loose change from the Wonder Fizz. And let's get Deadshot, Speed Cola, Jug, uh, Death Perception. And I think that's good. Got it right on time. All right, pop this open. Anything cool in here? Okay, hey, there's... Oh, we bought Jug. I'm an idiot. Why do I always do this? I'm sitting there going Jug, Jug, Jug. We get free Jug. I say jug probably about a million times. And guess what I do? I still buy it. I still buy it when it's right here for free. Nothing has changed. I have significantly more hours in zombies, significantly more knowledge, and I still go down on round seven and I still buy jug before I get free jug. Every, on the same round. Oh, there's rotten camo. Yeah, a, a, a little cherry on top of my stupid cake. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. And there's a Megaton. Those things are terrifying. That's okay. We can survive in Penthouse. I'm speaking it into existence. Let's just ring a fire. Megaton's already down. Just gotta make sure we pay attention to both these spawns. Entropathy camo, let's go. Is that everybody already? Oh no, one more zombie. Let's go. I would pick up that insta-kill, but then we will not get our ring of fire back for a long time. So you guys don't know, with insta-kill, you cannot fill up your field upgrade. So that's just a little quick tip quickie. But with double points, it also doesn't uh, fill up your field upgrade or have any effect on it whatsoever, but you get double the points. Another quick tip quickie. Oh, well, armor. I'll take that. They're gonna bring me free armor. I'll take it. And I guess I'll have the combat bow on me just for safekeeping. I feel like we're gonna fly through crits up here. Crits are a lot faster, but it's way more difficult to do. What round do we turn power on like 12 13 something like that so at round 22 we'll have a wonder fizz here we'll be able to buy the rest of our perks i think we can last here until round 22 without needing to go buy anything hopefully it is kind of cracked for crits honestly especially when i don't have to do like any effort of aiming oh threshold camo we need a thousand crits now holy shit this is kind of sick okay now we can ring a fire since there's a megaton we can light him up 
He's already splitting. Nice. That's what we like to see. Let's take out the bombers or the blasters. What are they called? I don't even know. Oh, and we're already in another dog round. I will say I kind of do like dog rounds more than I like assault waves because assault waves are, you know, usually pretty easy. Orta gets kind of tough to beat past like round 40 solo, but they're just a lot slower. But we're already on round 17 here. We haven't been playing for too long. We'd probably be a lot further if I wasn't dumb. But, you know, I, I, I can't fix stupid. All I can do is shoot brain. Okay, I can train a little bit. We've at least learned that maybe. If not, ring of fire fixes all problems. Oh my god, a mimic. Get out of here. You're not even supposed to be here. What's in this one? Armor. We'll take that. Level three. Conviction camo. We're getting pretty far on our jackrabbits now. We have another megaton coming. We have no ring of fire to help us, so we'll just have to fight off these zombies till we get one. There we go. Perfect. He's already splitting. Busted them wide open. Pause. And both his sides are gone. What's this? Oh, mimic. How many mimics are going to spawn? Is it because it's Halloween? We're just going to get more tricks than treats? Wait, is today the last day for the Halloween event? Or does this go a little bit into November? This is the last day for the Halloween event? That's sad. This is probably one of the coolest events we've gotten. It's just been a lot of fun. And our Rampage Inducer is over. Oh, I guess we got it done at round 11. So let's get Mule Kick so we can get infinite ammo, PhD, just in case we need a nade. And stamina up, because why not? The nuke on the ground. We don't want it. All we want is crits and maybe double points. Oh, another another pet peeve I have with uh, with the machina is that the armory and pack a punch are so far away. We have to go all the way down into the the asshole of the map to get to them. So we have fifty two thousand. We might as well just run down there and get pack a punch. There's one zombie left. I think we can pack it twice. But just in case I didn't give a good enough look at it earlier, this is the FFAR with pack a punch again. And there's a scare package in the same spot as last time. What we got? Tier 3 armor. Sick. Oh, there's another one. What do you got? Tier 3 armor. A silver chalice. Free pack-a-punch. We'll take that. Oops. Nope. Hey, put the jack-o-lantern away. This is what it looks like with pack-a-punch 2. And we're about to go see what it looks like with pack-a-punch 3. Pack-a-punch 3, though. On, on these uh, our two original maps, Z Machina and Firebase is clean. The third pack a punch tier is always nice. That pink and purple just goes together so well. Uh, it, it, this has got to be, I, I'm, this might even be the best pack a punch three camo in this game. Even though the Maurer ones and the Forsaken ones are really nice, this might beat it. It really might. All right, enough jelking over the camos. Let's go back up to Penthouse because we have crits to get. Speaking of which, we're at 494 crits out of 690, oh, 69 sex, but 695 eliminations. That's not bad. That's not far off. And since we're right here, let's go ahead and enter the Dark Aether. We'll play a few rounds in here. I know the anomaly is going to move, but you get to enjoy it for a little bit. So beautiful. Like, it is such a disservice to this game not having more of this. Are you going to go ahead and create this, use it for all the promotional images, and just never see it past, like, you know, some time-based things on this map? Like, it is way too nice to be seen so little, and I, I will die on that hill. I think maybe because it's a little laggy. I'm lagging a little little bit here. I'm on a PS5. Maybe it's like too many assets. Oh, we got some jack-o'-lanterns to open. A gold chalice and a flamethrower. We'll take a flamethrower. Oh, I actually picked up napalm that was on the ground. That's stupid. All right. Well, if we're going to use fire, we might as well use ring of fire. I'm going to have to go back and get cryo. So I don't want that to be taken away from my kills. We did just shred that megaton though. Megatons are scary unless you have a ring of fire. I feel like abominations are a lot harder to kill because you have to wait for them to start critting to kill them. Megatons, you can just start shooting. Oh no, we're leaving. Goodbye, Dark Aether. I'll miss you. What's in here? An Aether Wrench. Let's go. And we have our FFAR Gold. And the DIE... Oh, it's the Nova one. Pretty nice. That one's really good for uh, getting Ring of Fires back. And they could be Pack-a-Punch, too. Last time we played on this map, they were not able to. Now they are. Pretty sick. But let's get Cryo while we have a chance. I just got to be really careful not to pick up an Ammo Mod again. Oh, Dog Round. Fetch this soul. Come and take it. Can you crit Plague Hounds? Like, I feel like Plague Hounds make it impossible to have a completely perfect game where you get only crits. Like, your eliminations and your crits are perfectly aligned. I don't think I've ever seen a critical kill on a, on a uh, Plague Hound or a Hell Hound. Any kind of hound. I wonder if a, a perfect game is impossible. I'm certainly not going to try it. That is way too much work. One mess up could ruin the whole thing. But it would be pretty cool to see. That's something an Insomnia Virus would do. He definitely has the patience for something like that. This is pretty fast for rounds, though. I understand why 
why Samuel sits here. It's pretty nice. Just as long as you're nice at the game. Oh, there's our chemical camo. We're all done with pack-a-punch kills. So we're all done with our pack-a-punch kills. We're all done with our normal kills. Oh, wait. We have two uh, shockwaves out. That's cool. Actually, we might as well pack three this. What was I saying? I don't even remember. I legitimately don't remember. That was two seconds ago. I think I have all timers. Maybe I'll remember. That's so that's so crazy how I can forget what I was saying literal seconds ago. Like you guys, I've had some people ask why I why I cut a lot of the video out. Most of it's either me not saying anything and just focusing on playing, me stuttering, or me forgetting what I was saying. Like an uh, unedited video would be so awful and boring. It would literally just be me sitting here, like sitting on my thumb. It's insane that I've even gotten this far being this dumb. I feel like it had something to do with the number two. What were we talking about with the number two? Oh, well, the world may never know. I'm going to see this in editing and then be like, oh, that's what I was talking about. I'm an idiot. Oh, I think I remember what I was saying. This could be completely wrong. But I was saying we have Pack-A-Punch and our normal kills done and we just need crits. And we needed about, what, a thousand or something of those? I don't even remember how many we needed. I, f I always forget. Again, another thing I forget. Basically, just call this episode, I try to get a weapon gold while having dementia challenge. I'm just out here drifting in penthouse. Just looking at the PhD tail. These crits, though, they're extremely fast up here. Extremely fast. It's kind of absurd. Megaton, dead. Zombies, heads are gone. Me, hit a nuke like an idiot. And now we just sit here, twiddling our thumbs. Oh, they actually spawned back pretty quick. Another Megaton? But I don't have two rings of fire. Psych, I have pack three. That's doing a decent amount of damage to him. Oh, wait, I have to reload. Train around a bit. I can get a few more kills. That's not too bad. Oh, we can take the Megaton out without a ring of fire. Zombie, get back. A max ammo. Go ahead, split. Come on. Okay, Megaton bomber gone. One more, and he's gone. Oh, Megaton blaster. I keep calling them bombers. Holy hell. Just the amount this latch is on with Deadshot, I will never ever get over. It is so low effort. Well, I guess like my hands are moving more than they normally would, or at least my left hand. Just hitting, hitting that L2. But like, come on, dude. This is insane. Oh my, Lanta. I kind of just have to walk back and forth. I probably don't even need to walk back and forth. I just have to sit in that corner and just shoot. Just look at each spawn and dome heads. It's just that simple. And then when I ring a fire, please ring a fire. It just makes it even easier. Don't even have to reload. Let's open this up. Okay, a little war machine. Not gonna grab Shatter Blast. Oh, a free self-revive. I was thinking about going to buy one of those. Don't need to now. Jeez. This is literally Headshot City. I feel like if I started playing zombies at the very start of Cold War, D-Machina would be my favorite map because I would already like be so comfortable playing this map, be so used to Penthouse that it would just be smooth sailing. Would have gotten Dark Aether in like a week. But now that I'm playing it at the end of Cold War, I, I wish I would have started playing it a little sooner or been a little more competent at zombies zombies faster because this spot is so ridiculously fast. I just got to make sure I let some zombies in the map so I can grab ammo from their corpses. Oh, Mimic, come on, dude. Let go of me. Go back to Firebase. Another pup round. Kind of useless now. Well, actually, bring me that ammo. That works. I was thinking useless in terms of getting crits. Let me see if I hit their toes. That's not a crit. Their face don't look like a crit either. Are they impossible to crit? I have to hit them like in the eye. Okay, let's just grab it. Ammo is full. I'm predicting that we're done. We have gold viper and we have our first plague diamond by round 36. That's my prediction. Oh, geez. Come on. Another max ammo dropped immediately after getting a max ammo from a dog round. It's proven, it's factual. That max ammo is literally in the game only to troll. It does get extremely chaotic up here. I will say, definitely not as uh, as safe as Colonel's, but definitely faster. Jeez, we just decimated that whole round. All right, don't be a mimic. Cool, just stuff we can't use. We literally can't use anything from them really, but it's just fun to open them. Zombie, get back. And a nuke. Perfect. Just what I needed. God damn it. For whatever reason, I'm using like armor penetrating attachments and heavy zombies are still breaking through like pretty easy. And by that, I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm doing enough damage to them. Like I, I can't get through their armor. There's probably a better build I, I could be using, but who cares? We're one round away from my prediction. Will it be true? I hope so. It's always nice when we get a, a camo done on a exfil round and we can just leave. But what's up with the map getting like extremely foggy at points? Is that supposed to be like a stow storm? Is that like an origins reference? Probably not. Probably doesn't mean anything except that they wanted to have fog on the map. Some devs wanted to have fog, some didn't. And they're like, okay, well, let's just do it every five rounds or something. They're like, all right, sweet. I'm down with that. And then that's why there's fog on this map. That is not canonical by any means. That's just my, uh, my uneducated opinion, my uneducated guess. Oh, there we go. Assault rifle diamond. We did it. We have diamond assault rifles now. 
Plague Diamond Assault Rifles, and we got it done on wave 36, round 36. Let's go start up our X-Fill. I will say, d Machina probably has the fastest X-Fill. It's right here. Oh, we got a level 55 on the round that we got a gold too. That's perfect. All right, zombies, get the hell out of my way. There's 61 enemies. d Machina, I feel like, is the map that I struggled the most with. Not with everything, but especially X-Fill. It feels like they have an extremely hard X-Fill on this map. But also, I have not X-Filled on this map in a long time. So we'll see. I think we can get it. We already chomped down about like 20 zombies with little to no issue. But if we go over here pop the ring of fire it should be even easier maybe not maybe not maybe not oh wait no it is for sure maybe not no it is it, it definitely is i wasn't scared or doubting myself one bit all right come on down raptor one let me in let me get out of here let's go that's our 25th successful exfil on this account that's pretty good some crystals to boot let's get out of here our final stats 1915 kills 1345 crits and two downs. So yeah, a, a little worse than we normally do. Hey, we survived D Machina for once. We did it. All right, this is what the FFAR looks like with Gold Viper. Honestly, not that bad. The coverage on this gun is way better than a lot of base guns that we've seen in this game. So Gold Viper, pretty decent on here. And then Plague Diamond, our first secondary camo, our first diamond camo on this account looks gorgeous so let's go ahead hop in game and see what both of these look like in there but also before we do that these are my crystals i have 62 raw 42 refined and 16 flawless so let me know down below what i should upgrade all right this is what the ffar looks like in game with gold viper the coverage is even better in here i feel like it actually looks pretty nice i think this might be the, my favorite weapon with gold viper on it it has very very good coverage you can see the texture pretty good and it just looks really nice just out here in the sun on raid now let's see what it looks like in plague diamond and this is what the ffar looks like with plague diamond plague diamond is honestly so so nice looking it's so good but despite that this is probably my least used camo in the game besides a lot of you know the the normal camos you unlock along the way so every time i get a class diamond i always instantly move on to the next one i'm like okay that class is done time to finish another one but what a few days before cold war came out or maybe even the day before the camos were leaked and i think plague diamond was my favorite camo that i saw there and you know it, it's for a reason this is really really nice it's a shame i just haven't used it enough but yeah we did it we finally have plague diamond on this account our ars are done scratching them off the completionist in me doesn't want to say that they're done but we are so strapped for time to try to get dark aether before vanguard comes out once we have plague diamond on the class that class is out no more ars you will never see another ar not here but i think that's where we're gonna have to end the video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing we put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later